American Tank and Rhino Fittings. Today we're down in Petaluma on our customer's uh, ranch and we're going to go ahead and add a 12 foot high galvanized steel ladder to this 10,000 gallon pulley tank. Uh, it's an accessory that is not currently available by any other uh, manufacturer that we know of and we're pretty proud of this. So we're going to show you how easy it is to install this and add some, add some very safe utility to this tank instead of climbing up a step ladder or a extension ladder which is how they've been doing it today. Okay, it's a beautiful day in Petaluma. I'm here with Bobby from Coastal Hill Farms and we are putting this ladder on his tank. I was just about to explain to him what we do on these ladder brackets is we actually curve it to the exact curvature of the tank first and then we've got uh, anti-slip material on the back side because these poly tanks are pretty slippery and what we're going to do is we're going to mount this ladder with two inch nylon straps so we don't have to put any holes whatsoever uh, through the side of the tank which would eventually probably leak. So uh, it's a super simple installation. When we're all done, we're gonna go ahead and, because uh, he's got a nice concrete slab here, we're gonna bolt those angle brackets down and blue screw them to the concrete. It's gonna make a really, really clean installation. Okay, once you've got your ladder assembled on the ground, super simple, just takes a couple minutes, no drilling. Everything just bolts together, tighten it up. We went ahead and stood it up on the tank. We had some marks up there so that we can uh, know exactly where we want to position the ladder for the access to the top manway. We ran the first strap around right here and we're going to uh, just give it a couple clicks and get this in position um, just like that. And then we're going to go ahead and we brought other step ladders. We're going to get our other straps on now and get them uh, wrapped around the tank and get everything snugged up. So we've got our first two straps uh, in place. Peter's going to go ahead and just snug it up just a little bit. And that's good on that one. Then you'll put a ladder on. Don't use the ladder yet, it's still not safe. And so we'll go up to the step ladder. We're gonna snug up the second strap and then we'll get that th uh, third top strap on. There you go. Okay, so we've got our bottom two straps on. They're snugged up, the ladder's level. Peter's up top, the ladder's totally safe at this point to use uh, for access to this top ratchet strap. And so what he's done here is he's putting it through and he's just gonna snug it a couple clicks to hold the strap. Then we're gonna go around, we're gonna show you how we can uh, level the strap from the ground. Okay, so the last step is we wanna get these straps nice and level. And what we do is we just use a piece of uh, PVC pipe like this and it slides really good on the uh, polyethylene tank. And we just go around and we just sort of push that strap up to where it needs to be. <laughs> and Peter's gonna put the camera down and go tighten it up again. Okay. Okay, so we snugged it up again. We're doing a little final adjustment. Peter just shout out if I gotta go up or down. And uh, yeah, that's 12 feet off the ground. So it can do it without a ladder. Anyone can do this. How are we looking? Looking good. Okay. Middle of that section is perfect. Okay, great. Thanks, Peter. Okay, since we have this thing assembled, we've only, we've got about 15 minutes into this. It's that easy. It goes up so, so simple. And before we blue screw these uh, mounts to the concrete slab, I just want to show you how solid this thing is. I'm 205 pounds, okay? I, and it is solid as a rock. Three straps, they're all tight and snug down. Just beautiful access up and down this ladder. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, put the blue screws in and wrap this thing up. Okay, that's the last uh, hole for our little anchor brackets that'll hold the bottom of this securely to the concrete. Gotta love this handheld uh, rotor hammer. Probably the best tool I bought in the last five years. Okay, Peter's just putting the last of the four blue screws in. Those are 5 16 and they take a quarter inch drill. Simple, and that's it. Uh, what do you think, Peter, overall? Pretty easy. Go Rhino. Go Rhino. Right on. Okay, that's it. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and wrap these straps up, make it look tidy. We'll get you a picture when it's all done. Okay, this job's wrapped up. Um, I'm really, really happy with how this product came out. You know, I've been in this biz for 42 years. I've never really seen anybody do it like this. This galvanized ladder, you cannot believe how strong this is. It is just like it was on a welded steel tank and part of the structure. So 
it's all installed, the straps are tight. Um, it just makes just getting to the top a breeze. Um, you know, so much sif so much safer than a, a step ladder or a extension ladder that wants to slide off this tank. So uh, that's it for today. It's been uh, fun getting to work with my son and uh, these times are special to us. So we're family business, American Tank, Rhino Fittings. If we can help you out, give us a call. Thanks.